It is being called a historic donation to improve health care in East Toronto. A $75 million gift has been given to the Scarborough Health Network and the University of Toronto to revolutionize and transform health care services. And it is a timely announcement as hospital unions raise major concerns about the state of the health care system in Ontario. Gifts of this magnitude are incredibly rare. So rare that in fact this is the largest donation the Scarborough Health Network has ever received. An investment that is expected to be transformational for Scarborough, a largely neglected community with the third lowest access to family physicians in the province. It's obvious to everyone who's looked at the data that we're so underserved and that has implications for the needs of this population. Here's a breakdown of the $75 million investment. $50 million will go to the Scarborough Health Network and will support the redevelopment of the Birchmount Hospital, doubling its current patient bed capacity and supporting the construction of a new patient tower for critical care. It will allow us to uh, build a new emergency department there to serve more people, hopefully end hallway medicine. The other $25 million will go to the University of Toronto to support construction of a new Academy of Medicine that will train more than 1,500 students a year, including physicians. We have been wanting to build a medical school in Scarborough for years. This part of the GTA really needs more healthcare professionals who are committed to working and, and living and staying in this region. The announcement comes on the heels of one health care union sounding the alarm about major staffing shortages at hospitals and spiking emergency room wait times. Hospital staff are leaving the industry at unprecedented rates and this summer dozens of hospitals were forced to close ERs and other units. The average hospital wait time in the province is now 20.7 hours, what they call a crisis in the health care system. But this investment is one step to recovery. It's a huge morale boost that people are contributing to health care and so supportive of the health care workers. It's going to increase our health human resources and hopefully you know, that will eventually um, help with our health care needs in the future. The gift comes from one donor, Orlando Corporation. They noted in today's announcement, while they are Canada's largest privately owned industrial real estate developer, they have no property yet in Scarborough. The Ford government has announced it will also be spending more than $1 billion on several expansion and redevelopment projects across the network. Scarborough was a forgotten city uh, for decades under previous governments and uh, we said we're never going to forget Scarborough in the second we, we took office. Orlando Corporation says it will also match donations from the public up to $25 million. So that could bring this investment up to $100 million once all is said and done. SHN is made up of three hospitals that service an area of more than 830,000 people. And 59% of the population is made up of new residents to Canada.